Hi, I'm John with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember that anytime you work on an appliance, make sure that it is unplugged or the circuit breaker is turned off so there is no chance of electrocution. We're going to show you how to install a new end cap kit for your Roper refrigerator. It's a really easy job that only requires a small flat blade screwdriver, a Phillips head screwdriver, and a few minutes of your time. When you open the package, you'll get all the parts necessary to replace the end caps on the freezer and refrigerator doors. The reason why you'd be replacing the end cap kit is if it's broken or missing. We're going to be replacing the end caps for both the upper and lower door handles. The repair procedure is about the same. We're going to start by replacing the bottom one, the refrigerator door. Use a Phillips head screwdriver to loosen and remove the two screws that hold the top end cap in place. Afterwards, remove the top end cap. With the upper end cap off, you can now remove the door handle. Then, remove the plastic spacer. Use a small flat blade screwdriver to pry off the protective cover. Then, use a Phillips head screwdriver to remove the retaining screw. Afterwards, remove the lower end cap. Now that the bottom handle and end caps have been removed, we can open the freezer door to start removing this handle assembly. Use a Phillips head screwdriver to loosen and remove the two screws that hold the top end cap in place. Then remove the top end cap along with the handle. Use a Phillips head screwdriver to loosen and remove the two screws that retain the lower end cap. As you remove the end cap, be sure to take off the thin spacer as well. Here are the old parts next to the new parts. If you already have the new ones, great. If not, you can get it from AppliancePartsPros.com. Starting with the bottom door, thread in the screw that retains the lower end cap, but don't tighten it yet. Reinstall the old handle. Position the plastic spacer. Then position the new top end cap. Thread in and tighten the two screws that retain the top end cap. Adjust the lower end cap so that it holds the handle securely. Then tighten the retaining screw. Install the new protective cap. On the upper door, before installing the new lower end cap, be sure to install the new spacer. Then, thread in and tighten the two retaining screws. Reinstall the old handle by positioning it in the lower end cap. Then, position the new top end cap. Afterwards, thread in and tighten the two Phillips head screws. Now that the upper door handle is on, we can close the freezer door and then reconnect the power cord and your appliance should be ready for use. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. And be sure to check out our other repair videos on our website, on our Facebook page, and on our YouTube channel.